Hi everyone, this is Pamela and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to address a topic that it's really important to know and it is the financial abuse. This is one of the main reasons that victims don't go out of a relationship which is abusive. And many people tend to make the mistakes of asking, why didn't you get out of that relationship before? And the main reason, most of the time, is because the victims don't have the money, don't have the resources to even rent for a new place, to even get out of there because the abuser know what they do. And sometimes they start controlling their victims through money. And that's why I support a lot that women uh, take care of their career, they grow as a professional so that they have the independence and they have the freedom to choose whether or not to stay in a relationship that is not adding up into their life. And being able to choose is already powerful. So financial abuse, also known as economic abuse, is a form of mistreatment in which one person exerts control over another's financial resources, often as a part of a broader pattern of power and control in a relationship. It can occur in various contexts, including intimate relationships, family settings, or caretaking arrangements. Here are some ways financial abuse is manifested. Number one, controlling access to financial resources, restricting access to bank accounts, credit cards, or cash, forcing the victim to account for every penny spent, withholding money or giving an allowance. Number two, exploiting the victim's resources, stealing money or property, using the victim's credit card or bank account without permission, running up debt in the victim's name, cashing checks without permission. Number three, preventing the victim from earning or maintaining employment, such as sabotaging job opportunities by stalking or harassing the victim at work, forbidding or discouraging the victim from working, forcing the victim to work in family businesses without pay. Number four, manipulating financial decisions, making significant financial decisions without consulting the victim, pressuring the victim to sign financial documents they do not understand, or deceiving the victim about the true nature of financial transactions. Number five, exerting control over financial entitlements, refusing to pay bills or debts in the victim's name, filling false insurance claim, or hiding family assets. Number six, using economic power to maintain control, threatening to leave the victim destitute, denying the victim access to necessities such as food, clothing, or medical care using financial dependence to keep the victim in the relationship. Financial abuse can have severe long-term effects on victims and that don't allow them to have the freedom to choose whether or not to stay in a relationship as I have mentioned in the video. That's why it is so important not to abandon your career while you are in that relationship because you need to have the freedom to choose whether or not to stay. If you found the video really useful, I would like you to subscribe to my channel to give me a like and especially to share it to somebody that you think that might actually need it. And as I always say, I do this with all of my heart and see you the next time. Bye bye.